Is the Great Reset a blueprint for the future or a path to control? In recent years, a concept has stirred global debate, reaching from the corridors of power to the streets of everyday life. It's known as the Great Reset. This concept, originating from the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, has sparked a wide spectrum of reactions, from being seen as a transformative step towards a more equitable and sustainable world, to being criticized as a strategy for increased global control by a select few. But what exactly is the Great Reset? It is a proposal that aims to rebuild the global economy sustainably in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. Its supporters view it as a critical opportunity to address pressing global challenges, including climate change, socioeconomic inequality, and public health crises. The idea is to use this unique moment in history to transform the global economy with a focus on sustainable development, fairer wealth distribution, and enhanced social welfare systems. The Great Reset advocates for a shift from shareholder capitalism to stakeholder capitalism, where corporations are not just accountable to their shareholders, but also to their employees, customers, communities, and the environment. This includes embracing clean energy, reducing carbon emissions, and investing in green technologies. However, critics have raised concerns about the underlying motives and potential implications of the Great Reset. Voices from platforms like Hot Air have expressed fears about increased centralization of power and erosion of individual freedoms. They highlight moves towards electric vehicles, digital currencies, and other technologies as potential steps towards greater surveillance and control. Additionally, some commentators have raised concerns about the impact of these changes on traditional industries, small businesses, and personal privacy. They argue that while the goals of the Great Reset may be commendable, the methods and potential overreach could lead to unintended consequences. On the flip side, supporters and some experts see the Great Reset as a beacon of positive transformation. An episode on CBC's Ideas with Nala Ayed described it as a more humane form of capitalism, one that could lead to a fairer and more environmentally responsible world. This perspective highlights the potential for innovation, increased cooperation between nations, and the creation of economies that are more resilient to future crises. Economic trends, as noted by experts on Finbold, also reflect a shift in global commodities, hinting at broader changes in the economic landscape. This includes a rise in the value of gold and Bitcoin, suggesting a move towards alternative forms of wealth and investment as part of this Great Reset. As we navigate these unprecedented times, the Great Reset presents a vision that could fundamentally reshape our world. However, it also raises critical questions. Will it lead to a more inclusive and sustainable future, or does it risk concentrating power in the hands of a few? These implications for society, the economy, and individual freedoms are profound and merit careful consideration.